the camera died, but you gotta just make the best out of a bad situation. And I'm telling you what the fuck you gotta do. So like I said, you can heed my words or not, blah, blah, I'll skip the video, and then your ass would be bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? I was on child support. Let me be clear with you niggas. I was on child support, you know, in the state of Maryland. I was on child support in the state of Maryland. If you don't know how bad the state of Maryland is, go to Maryland and you be on child support and just know how they, how bad they could possibly hit you over the fucking head. Or Google it. Google it. Right? Google it. But I was on child support in the state of Maryland because I was going through a divorce at the time. So the process, some, the process, basically, long story short, the process was because she was on such and such assistance, they automatically put me on child support, right? And I found out about it through we was in court, right? So that's how I ended up finding them. But they didn't, uh, when it came down to discussion of the numbers, um, they asked me the same shit I'm telling y'all, what you need to pay for. They asked me, who pays for this? Who pays for this? Who pays for this? What's your income? Right? They're going to put your income against hers. And then they're going to ask who pays for these things. And then they're going to go through their... They have a calculator in every state. They have a calculator in every state. And then they're going to calculate it. They calculated it right there. And then, as I, I told you, I paid for everything. I did what the fuck I was supposed to do. So, sitting... I swear to you not. Sitting right there... This is virtual at the time on Zoom because COVID and shit at the time. So I'm sitting on there, we're in court, and he runs down the numbers and he says, well, okay, so the child support number is, I swear to you not. When he read the number, he laughed. He said, <laughs> like, you know, one of them little, uh, <laughs> you know, white people, that the white people funny laughs. <laughs> he said, so the child support is <laughs> $43. Pause. I want I want y'all to soak that in because I promise you not. I swear to God. He looked, he read that shit down off the calculator and said $43. I don't think y'all understand how bad I wanted to like laugh or like smirk. But it was like a relief. At the same time, it was a disbelief. Like $43. And, and when he said that, he was like, are you okay with that? Yes, I am. They was like, is she okay with that? She had no choice. My bad. But he asked me, are you okay with that number? Yes. They asked her, is she okay with that? Yes, she ain't had no choice. You know why she ain't had no choice? Because I did what the fuck I had to do, regardless of her feelings, regardless of my feelings. You know who person only fucking matters in these situations? The kid. The kid. Both the adults, it doesn't even fucking matter at that point. Y'all, that's what that's what be the funniest shit to me. The adults want to have all this this say-so and this, that, and the third, and y'all act just like kids. Act just like fucking kids. We all do. Act like fucking children. Then the kids is the only thing that fucking matters. Their future and their well-being. But we so busy trying to be spiteful and hurt one another that, that we ended up, we not ended up, because we didn't, you know, but that we end up hurting the kids in the long run. We want to be so spiteful and vindictive and hurt each other so much, arguing back and forth, that all we end up doing is hurting the kids. So yeah, 43 fucking dollars was my child support. $43 a month is what I had to pay. Now that's my situation. Yours may vary, but I'm telling you, it works out a whole, a hell of a lot better when you're just doing what the fuck you gotta do anyway. Doing what you gotta do anyway, keeping a paper trail and, and protecting yourself is how 
is how all of this shit ties together. Because if you got the paper trail, if you got the paper trail, you got the proof. You're protected in court. You stop caring about her keeping calm. You keep calm and you stop caring about her fucking games. That's how you protect yourself emotionally and spiritually. Right? And you got to detach yourself from the negativity and shit that she's going to try to put you in to get you hemmed up in bigger situations. Right? And when you do what you got to do, regardless, that's how you protect yourself financially. Because I'm telling you, when you sit there and fight it all you want, like, man, that shit's bogus and blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, I wouldn't lie to y'all. $43 was my fucking child support. And I paid that for like a couple months. Like, I paid that from like September to February. Or February to September. Yeah, February to September. February 2021. To September 2021 That's $43 a month That's it Now sometimes I paid it Because it was It was so low I double paid So fucking 43 is what 86 Paid 86 so I could skip a month And then come you know what I'm saying But that's That's what it is And it's like When you detach yourself from your feelings And, and the her feelings and the ego and shit like that and you always put the kid first you get a better outcome because you're moving from a state of you're moving in a state of love not hatred and spitefulness and fear and scarcity you're moving from a, a, a place of love because you love your kids you love your kids and you know like I said in the last step you love your kids, but sometimes you have to distance yourself from that situation because that same love can be used against you. That same love you have can be used to harm, to harm you, to hurt you. So you have to, at some point, be like, fuck that. I'm not going to let nobody use me like that. I'm not going to let nobody use my, my kids. It's something that I love. Th think how evil that is. To somebody to use something so innocent and pure against you your fucking kids so somebody who would do that to you you can't have no type of you know you can't have no type of care about that type you know what i'm saying you have to distance yourself from that and not give a fuck so that you can be in a place of clarity to think and understand that why they're doing this and what you can do to protect yourself because that is the only way to get you in an emotional state where you're thinking irrational using your kids most of us would be out of our fucking minds going crazy mad angry i was all of that all of it pissed i'm mad as shit can't do nothing can't do nothing about it but when you break away and you get to that point where you can isolate yourself from, from it and look at it from a different perspective and understand uh, what's happening, who, why they're doing this and what you can do moving forward, you know, from a logical point of view, think of your next chess move, you know, then you're in a better position to make better decisions, right? So that's... um. That's the, this is the most important step. And I really want to just let y'all sit with it, you know. I really want y'all to understand that as men, it's, it's, today, this society really wants us to be, you know, more open with our feelings and shit like that. And, you know, like, like emotions, like we can have emotions and it's free to express yourself. Yeah, it is, but not with women. You express yourself to your boys. You express yourself to men you trust, to your, your inner circle, your, you know, your group. You don't express yourself to these women. None of your most vulnerable, you know, nothing that, that, nothing that you hold dear that you, you wouldn't trust if, if shit went bad that you know she would say. You know what I'm saying? Because spite and vindictiveness and hatred is, is, is real. 
If she gonna use your kids against you, just what else do you think she would use against you? Right? And I'm not saying this to be, you know, like I'm attacking women because, you know, it's not what this is, but I'm just telling you from real life experiences, you know, and, and real life, you know, people, myself and people close to me. I see it. People that's not even close to me, I see it. I hear stories about this shit all the time. So, but I said that last part to say, like, but as a man, you just have to be, you have to be cold and you have to be able to detach yourself from certain things. Like, if you seem emotionless sometimes, well, fuck it. Maybe you are. Maybe you gotta be. It's a cold world out here, especially if you're a man. Especially if you're a man. It's a cold fucking world out here. And nobody cares. Nobody fucking cares. They don't want to hear excuses and they don't want to know why. They just want to see results and solutions. So, if you got to be cold and so fucking be it. But, but that's all I had on that. So, I'm going to move on to the next and last. Um, this is going to be like the lightest part of it. But this is the last bit of this video. So yeah, but really, just I really want y'all to sit with this and breathe on this part that I'm talking about, uh, just handling your business, regardless of your feelings, regardless of anything that she's throwing at you, regardless of anything. Just handle your business. If you have kids, if you have kids, then you, there's, there's no excuse. It's your fault that you have kids. It's your fault that you have kids, but she tricked you into it or not. Once that, once she possesses your seed, whether she, whether you gave it to her or she snaked it from you, whatever. Once she possesses your seed, you're lost. It's your fault. I'm gonna say it again so y'all can so y'all don't get it mis fucking construed. Once she possesses your seed, whether you gave it to her willingly or she snaked it from you by stealing the condom or turkey bait whatever the fuck bitches is doing you're lost and it's your fault you gotta be really discerning about these bitches y'all fucking with so that's that on that next topic